Hello, everybody! This is OB2 coming at you with my series review of the Kawhi Complex Guide to Manners and Hostile Behavior. Long day. <laughs> now, let's get into this. Now, this was a fun series to watch. It was a like story to story episode by episode series about uh, a group of people living at this manor known as the Kawaii Complex. And we have a fun cast of characters. We have Usa, Usa Kun, and he is this um, high school student. Uh, he looks up to his um, senpai who's always reading books. She's always reading books. He, he looks up to her almost a man like he has a crush on her. So much. So we have that. And he ends up moving to this place called the Kauai Complex. And, um, you know, because his parents moved away, and he wants to stay in town, and he needs a place to stay. And lo and behold, Ritsu. Ritsu Kauai. She, her grand, it's her grandfather's, um, place. Uh, the Kawaii Complex, yes. His senpai, Ritsu, lives there. Which is really interesting in the first episode, how we find out, whoa, she's going to be one of the characters, really, because he's going to be living with her. And we end up having, getting more characters throughout. We get Sumiko, the manager of the complex, who is the sis Ritsu's grandfather's sister. You have Shirosaki, who is Usakun's um, roommate. And this guy is a total perv. He is a masochist and a perv. So he is this twisted guy, but he's loads of fun to watch. He is just so much fun to watch as a character. Um, next up we have Mayumi. And she is this kind of loose, big boob girl who works in the office. She's an office lady. And she is always having trouble with men. She's always picking the wrong men and then getting dumped later on and then getting drunk and complaining about it. So she's this interesting character because of how she is interacting like this. She's like... Then finally we have Say Sayaka. And Sayaka is a college student. She is a college student. And... She is a manipulative bitch. She loves to fuck with people. She likes to twist things and has fun, you know, kind of seeing people wriggle in pain. You know, it's like, I'm going to say something to make you mad at me and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to insult you and I'm going to enjoy it. I am going to play people off each other against you and I'm going to enjoy it. So she's that kind of character. Um, so, like I said, this series was a very fun one. It wasn't like a continuous, technically, story throughout. Almost every episode was its own little chapter type story thing. But it was very fun, and I would love to see a second se season because it was just that much fun to watch and enjoy. Um... I loved Usakun's reactions, especially to Ritsu, because he does so much to connect with her throughout the series. Um, uh, their reactions between each other are so sweet and innocent, but so wonderful. He, uh, it's just great. And I love how Ritsu-kun, Ritsu Kawaii, how she is, is so into books. She's, everywhere she goes, she's just reading a book book. So I love that about her character. It was really good. It was very strong. It was very nice. So this is a slice of life type series, as I, I, I would say, because it's just a group of people. It's just a show about a group of people who live in this complex. Fun enough is the female uh, section of the complex. And the thing that's fun about the female section of the complex was it was throughout it is scattered weapons. And it's basically scattered. Weapons are scattered so that the men come over. Without permission. The women have something to beat their ass with. 
And we've had a couple times where Usukun accidentally crosses the line and got his ass beat, which was fun. But he's not the one you have to worry about. It's Shirosaki. Yes, he is the perv. He is the fun one. But still, this was a really strong series. It was really fun to watch. It had great characters. Great characters. I loved every single character. There wasn't one that I did not like. They all had something about them that just made them fun. And how they interacted together was so great. So, anyone out there, I highly recommend checking out the Kawaii Complex Guide to Manners and Hostile Behavior. Thus, this is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, please click like. Yeah. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is your way to signing out.